Hi guys, welcome to my week 40 bump date. I am at the end of my pregnancy. I am almost 100% sure um, that this is going to be my last pregnancy update. I have made it to the end. Um, technically right now filming this, I am 40 weeks and five days. So I am past my due date and I'm just ready for baby to be out of here. I am tired of being pregnant. I'm terrified of labor, um, but I'm ready to have my sweet little baby in my arms and not have to lug him around. <laughs> Um, in my tummy anymore and I'm just tired of being pregnant. So this week baby is the size of a small pumpkin or a jackfruit so he's huge. Um, he can weigh anywhere from six to nine pounds or even more than that um, but I think he's weighing right around seven pounds that's what my doctor thinks he's gonna end up weighing is somewhere in the seven pound range. My body is still making antibodies for baby um, as he's still in my tummy, but everything is good to go. All his systems are set um, And he's obviously way too comfy to come out because he is past his due date um, They do say that for first pregnancies. It usually takes a little bit longer to um, have baby come out just because this is new for your body and your body doesn't know what they're doing what it's doing um, and so it needs a little help sometimes. So my symptoms for my last week of pregnancy have been about the same, which is pretty normal. Um, I'm still dealing with a lot of heartburn. Um, I take Tums like crazy. I really should have done, I only bought like one thing of Tums at a time. And what I should have done is bought two Tums. I should have had one Tums located on the second floor and one set of Tums located on the main floor because I constantly need Tums and it's always when I sit down and then I realize I need to get back up and go all the way back upstairs or go all the way back downstairs to go get the Tums. So my next pregnancy I'm definitely gonna buy more more containers of Tums. This week I've been feeling like more pressure in my pelvis area so I think baby has dropped a little bit more um, and is getting more ready for birth. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because I feel like I have a really short torso so even though like i feel more pressure in my pelvis area i don't necessarily feel like that relief from my lungs like i can breathe better and looking from the pictures like you guys saw the pictures at the beginning of this vlog i'm not really sure that it looks like i've dropped at all either um but i definitely do feel more pressure in my pelvis area it's hard for me to sit straight up and down because I feel him way more on my bladder than I used to. And so I have to like constantly lean back or I have to like stretch my legs out um, because it just really hurts for me to sit up straight. I continue to have nose issues and I just um, have a runny nose all the time, a stuffy nose all the time. Um, it's not as bad as in previous weeks, but it's still annoying. I'm thirsty all the time. I drink fluids like crazy, uh, which has been the norm these past couple weeks. Um, I don't know why I'm so thirsty all the time. Um, probably because I'm peeing all the time. That's another symptom. I'm peeing constantly, um, especially with baby and more pressure in my lower pelvis area. Um, <clears throat> I definitely have more pressure there. And uh, so then I need to go to the bathroom more. My belly is huge. It's so hard for me to see anything past my belly. So um, going to the bathroom is a challenge. Shaving my legs is a challenge. Um, bending over to pick things up, putting my shoes on, um, just like putting on clothes is hard. Um, so I am huge and I'm just ready for baby to be out. I don't really have too many cravings. Um, just pop is like the main thing right now I've been craving. Um, mac and cheese has kind of like gone away now, so I don't really crave that too much more. Um, and hamburgers, I really haven't had one in a long time. I do have bouts of like nausea that I feel here and there, but most of the time I'm pretty hungry. And so I've still been able to eat a lot. Um, still weighing around 150, um, 150, 155, somewhere in there. 
um, but I have been eating a lot. I've been sleeping okay. Um, I still get up. I get up about twice a night now to go to the bathroom. Um, and sometimes I can go back to sleep and sometimes I'm just wide awake and so I can't go back to sleep. So I've been dealing with that. Um, I've also been having problems sleeping just because I know that like labor is very, very soon. And so it's hard for me to like sleep when I have all that on my mind. Like I'm just freaking out about it. I haven't really felt any contractions, I don't think. I might be feeling Braxton Hicks. There are times when my belly will get like really hard and like really tight all of a sudden. But it's so hard for me to tell if that's like a Braxton Hicks contraction or if it's just baby moving and he's just so big that, you know, it makes my belly feel really tight. So I really can't tell. It, there's no pain with it. So I don't know if that's baby or my body. Um, and cramping. I have cramping like every so often, but it's never like constant or the need where I need to um, like take Ad, or not Advil, but Tylenol or anything like that. Um, I did have the other night where I woke up in the middle of the night and I was having really intense cramps and I was like freaking out thinking I was going to go into labor. And then I went to the bathroom and the cramps went right away. So I guess I just had a really full bladder and it was my body telling me to go to the bathroom. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, baby is very comfy where he is. Um, he still moves around. He's most active in the evening. It's really funny. Um, any other time, he's pretty quiet. He's sleeping a lot. Um, but yeah, he's pretty active in the evenings and I still feel him get the hiccups, usually after I eat. I have noticed a little bit more swelling. It is a little bit harder for me to get my wedding ring on and off my finger, but I can still do it. My shoes do feel a little bit tighter. Um, but I'm still fitting in them, so nothing too drastic. I am noticing more stretch marks on my belly area, um, and I'm not sure if that's just because baby's getting really, really big or he's dropping lower, so it's causing more stretch marks. I don't know, but I am noticing more stretch marks on my belly. I'm trying to remember to put uh, lotion on my belly as much as I can to try to prevent more from happening. I'm still dealing with a lot of indigestion which um, adds to the heartburn um, so that's really kind of annoying to have to deal with. So this week I went to my 40 week doctor's appointment. They were shocked to see me there because they thought for sure I was going to go into labor before my due date but I did not <laughs> like I thought like I said in my last vlog I figured I was going to make it to 40 weeks um, so I went and I went early again because you, as you know, I have been having problems with high blood pressure. So I went like 15 minutes early. I sat outside the office. Um, I put, you know, planted both my feet on the floor, tried to think calming thoughts, distracted myself with a game on my phone, um, different stuff like that. So I checked in and they took me back and they took my weight and my blood pressure and my blood pressure was totally normal. It was like 120 over 70 something. So it was great. My process has been working and um, I was so happy to hear about hear, hear that number and just hear about that. I met with my doctor and she was like, I'm surprised you're still here. I thought you would have gone into labor. And I was like, nope, still here. Um, and so we measured my belly. My fundal height is right at 40 weeks. So he's measuring right on track. We found baby's heartbeat. Um, I think it was in like the 140, I think it was like 144 or something. Um, so that was good. And then, um, she checked my cervix to see if I had progressed any further and I had not. I had not progressed at all. I'm still one centimeter dilated and 80% effaced. So that was kind of disappointing to hear. Um, obviously that's why I didn't go into labor because I didn't progress at all. My doctor thought I was going to progress way faster because of such of the drastic change from week 38 to week 39, but no dice. I am still the same. So, um, we kind of talked over our options, um, now that I hit my due date and kind of what we decided was that. My doctor doesn't want me to go much over my due date just because she doesn't want to increase the risk for C-section. 
Um, she doesn't want to increase the risk of baby because um, after a certain point, the placenta will just start to deteriorate and not provide nutrients and oxygen to baby, and that could be life-threatening to baby, um, especially because that's how he gets his, you know, that's how he's staying alive and getting his oxygen and things. Um, so our game plan was that we set up uh, for me to be induced, um, and I will be induced um, at, well, t actually it's tomorrow, um, so I will be 40 weeks and six days, and then um, uh, we called the hospital to see when they would have time for me to come in, and they told me to come in at um, 9 p.m., on Tuesday and then the plan kind of is is that uh, I would check in at 9 p.m. and they would kind of get me going and then I would just progress throughout the night um, definitely getting an epidural so then I can just sleep through it all and then hopefully baby will be born sometime on Wednesday where I will be exactly 41 weeks so um, that's kind of what we decided um, it's kind of funny, like, if you saw my other videos, I think I was at, like, 37 or 38 weeks. I was like, I don't want to be induced. I don't want to, you know, I want to go on into labor naturally. I don't want to have to have, like, any interventions and things like that. Um, but now that I'm at the end of my pregnancy, like, there's nothing more for baby to gain. Um, you know, he's already developed totally um and i'm just kind of done with being pregnant and my i just don't want to risk keeping him in longer just because my body doesn't know what it's doing um i don't want to have risk to him having any complications you know in addition to the placenta deteriorating he could also like end up like pooping his first poop like that meconium stuff inside the womb and then ingesting it and that can cause problems for him so um the longer you go, the more worrisome it gets. And it definitely seems like a lot of doctors aren't wanting you to go much past 40 weeks anymore. Um, I know my mom went like two weeks over with me. Anthony's mom went two weeks over with him. Um, I was talking to my grandparents and they said the doctors gave them like a three week you know, window to deliver. So it's definitely changed over the years. Um, but, um, it seems like nowadays they just don't want you to go much more longer. Um, they just want to decrease the amount of risk to baby and to mom. So um, that is the plan. Um, so I am at 40 weeks and 5 days today. Today's Monday. So tomorrow night at 9 p.m. I will go to the hospital and be start my induction. Um, and we're not really sure how long it's going to take, um, especially with this being my first baby. It could go fast or it could go slow. My doctor seemed to think if we started at 9 p.m., then I should be able to deliver a baby sometime Wednesday afternoon. But who knows? Anything could happen. So I'm terrified um, to know that tomorrow I'm going to the hospital and starting this craziness and contractions and that I'm going to push a baby out of my, you know, uh, pelvis area. I am terrified of it. I'm terrified of the pain. Um, I've never been in the hospital before for like any reason other than when I was born as a baby or if I was like visiting someone. So I'm very nervous to like be admitted and have all these, you know, I'm sure I'll get an IV and, and I'm going to get an epidural. So I'm going to get this huge shot in my back and I'm very nervous for what is to come. I'm also very nervous just for a baby to get here. I just, it's a big responsibility and I hope I know what I'm doing and I hope I'm ready. Anthony, like I was saying before, he's going to take two weeks off of work. So he went to work today um, and then he's going to start his leave tomorrow. So we have tomorrow to just kind of spend the day together, one last day, just him and me. Um, and then tomorrow night we'll go to the hospital and he'll be there the whole time with me. Um, our hospital is super nice. They have like a really nice pull out futon bed for him to sleep on. 
Um, so hopefully he'll be able to get a little sleep Wednesday night or Tuesday night before baby comes. I don't feel like I'm going to get any sleep at all unless they give me some kind of drugs or medicine to knock me out because I'm just going to be, you know, I'm going to have so much like adrenaline going on and I need things to be like really, really quiet for me to go to sleep. And I feel like there's going to be like noises all the time. And I heard like the nurses come and check on you all the time. So... I don't know how much I'm really going to get to sleep, but um, I'm excited to finally see what baby looks like. I want to see what kind of hair he has, what color, what color eyes he has, um, what he weighs, how tall he is. I cannot wait to see him. So due to that, um, technically I think I will make it to 41 weeks, but I will be in the hospital. So this is my last uh, pregnancy update vlog. After this, it will be uh, vlogs of baby and you guys will learn his name and you get to see him. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna film at all in the hospital. Um, you'll just have to stay tuned. If not, I'll definitely start filming once we get home. Um, so, uh, you know, say a prayer for me. Hopefully everything goes well. I'm hoping not to get a C-section. Hopefully no complications arise during the labor or after baby's born. Hopefully everybody is health healthy and happy and hopefully I make it. Hopefully this baby comes. Um, he's pretty happy where he is. So, uh, he's about to get a rude awakening. He's received his eviction notice. So, um, I just want to thank all you guys for being here during my whole journey. Um, I think I started making these vlogs, pregnancy vlogs, well I know I did one from when I had my first positive pregnancy test, um, but I think like these legit updates were starting at like 10 weeks or something. So thank you if you have seen all of my pregnancy vlogs, you're a trooper. Thank you for being with me on this journey. Um, I cannot wait to document and film the next part of our journey of little baby Denzel and him growing up and just seeing the kind of boy he grows up into. So I'm really excited to take you guys along on that journey. Um, it's bittersweet ending this pregnancy. I had an amazing pregnancy, um, no complications. I had nausea. Um, in the first trimester and then it went away and I had back pain and then it went away and this last third trimester has been great um, other than the heartburn which is fine um, and so it's kind of sad um, I definitely miss feeling baby's kicks in my tummy but I am ready to have my body back. Um, I can't wait to lay on my back at night instead of having to lay on my side. Um, laying on my side, I my hips have really been hurting whenever I wake up, um, and so I constantly have to switch sides. I'm so excited to eat deli meat. I keep telling everybody um, one of my first meals after baby is born is Subway. I've missed it. I have not had it once this whole pregnancy, so I cannot wait until I can have Subway again. Um, it'll be nice to drink, although I am planning to breastfeed, so probably not too much alcohol in the near future. But um, I did learn in my classes that they do say if you're sober enough to drive, you're sober enough to, dr to breastfeed. We'll see how comfortable I am with that, but I'm excited for that, for queso, for soft serve ice cream. I'm just so excited to have some of my freedom back a little bit. Um, but I do realize that, you know, we're going to be on baby time now. Um, and it's just going to be sleep when the baby sleeps. And um, I hope he's, uh, I hope he's a, you know, a fair tempered child. I hope we don't get, you know, one with colic. Um, I hope I can be a good mom to him and you know raise him right so uh, that was kind of a little I don't know rant that I went off on um, but yeah this is it so let me show you my final bump okay guys so here is my belly with the shirt on And here it is with the shirt up. So this is 40 weeks. 
from the front and from the side. Notice my lovely stretch marks and I've been getting them more on the front now as you can see. But this is it. This is as big as I'm going to get. As you can see, I still feel like it looks like I'm carrying pretty high. Um, but here it is. Here's baby. All right, guys, that is all from me. I am signing off on my last pregnancy vlog. I'm sure it won't be my last ever one. I will definitely be pregnant again in the future, especially since I had such a great pregnancy with this um, baby. Um, but for now, this is it. Um, I'll probably make a postpartum vlog sometime. Um, but at the next time you see me, you'll be seeing little baby, baby Denzel. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe so you can see baby um, and experience, you know, life, you know, his life growing up. I can't wait to document it. Bye, guys.